True yeah. is the label. No Face, No Case is the compilation album we've heard him on. Yeah, and Sleepy Rose is the artist yeah, I'm speaking with today. Sleepy, thank you so much for sitting down with me today. I really appreciate it. Appreciate you. Um, tell me, you've been going around promoting No Face, No Case this whole time, right? The past... The past four months. Four months? Yeah. That's cool and all. We're going to get to that. But yeah. my, like favorite thing about the project is how people are reacting to your song Woo! I didn't think it was gonna get a reaction like that you got a whole challenge I got like, a whole challenge how does that make you feel I started the challenge <laughs> I ain't gonna cap you down I started the challenge she made me feel good to know that it worked yeah yeah and on it YouTube what I to the do. radio so you had this vision that it was gonna do numbers like this mm-hmm so the dance, everything. The dance, everything. I had the vision. Okay. I had the vision after though. Mm -hmm. I had the vision when it wasn't do when I when I thought it was like, damn, this shit ain't doing nothing. Mm -hmm. This shit ain't doing what I thought it was gonna do. I was like, shit, sit down. I'm like, shit, let me put something together. I'm finna finna start a challenge to this motherfucker, get it popping. It can be more popping than it is now. It, it was like some, you feel me? But. I thought of all this You shit. better repost it like a little bit more. Like no, nah, I need some bigger. Day. I need some bigger people to post. It. Like mm. I need to hit change to him post it, promote it. For, like if he say something about the child, that motherfucker might got down. You think he might hit a little dance move to it? Hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, he got a little dance move. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to me about the video. It's like a '90s "Don't Be a Menace" theme with mm -hmm. the water guns. Hot made an appearance in it. Yeah. How fun was that? That shit was fun. That shit was something different. Yeah. Yeah, they have, my, they have my dogs out there doing some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. And it was like an all-day thing, right? Or all day. Like, yeah. I'm talking about from morning to night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bringing people out to do a video like that, how did that feel to you? It was crazy. It made me feel like it made me feel like this shit getting real now. Cause that was one of my first videos. Like, was or Georgia was, but that shit made me feel like it was gonna get real. Speaking of Georgia. That song has like a total different vibe than Woo. Like Woo mm -hmm. has like the fun vibe, but Georgia like it's like a almost a, a warm, mixture. Yeah. yeah. I feel all homey. <laughs> yeah, I wanna do. <laughs> yeah, it puts me in the mind of like the ludicrous and field mob kind of yeah. but then also like you add in like that Gladys Knight kind of like midnight train to Georgia mm -hmm. soul some in it. Some yeah. 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 Put it down on that one. Talk to me about that song. I would I was actually mad when I made Georgia. Why? Cause first of all, I missed my flight <laughs> to LA. So boom, I missed my flight to LA. So when I get there, I'm sleep sleepy. Cause man, remember I was telling you like the time we got down. So shit, I get there, I start smoking instantly. As soon as I get out of the plane, like instantly, cause I took some weed with me. <laughs> So boom, I'm already high. I'm too high now. Mm -hmm. So like I'm down there like sleepy, like it's over. I walk in the studio. So boom, when I walk in that motherfucker. I sit down. I say what's up to everybody, but I just sit down. So they in there lit. So I'm sleepy and fuck. I ain't really telling nobody this. So somebody said something. Like they, like, like, they slit like something. Like not they, but he slit something like shit. I'm goddamn like. Ruin in the moment type of shit. Because <laughs> you slumped. Yeah, but he thinking I'm mad type oh. shit. But I ain't mad. Mm -hmm. I'm sleepy. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I want to be piped up with y'all right now. So he not knowing that. So, shit. So, um, so I start. Got, that's when I that's when I slit, like, get mad. Because like, I'm like, damn, bro. I ain't even, you feel me? You tripping on me. I ain't even got down. So, boy, I'm like, man, I want my own room now. So, boom, they started giving us our own room. So, I was out there. I went in that motherfucker started rapping. Shit, I just was like, shit, I need to make some shit that gonna be like, they gonna wake these folk up, like. Classic, timeless. Like, some classic shit that gonna take me up out of there. And we in LA at Atlanta studio. Mm -hmm. So I was like, shit, well, Maddie was playing some beats. So I was like, shit. Like, I ain't fuck with that. Them shit sound like, them shit sound like everything else. Like, shit, I got some some other type of shit. Man, play that shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They won't like that one. Yeah, I'm fucking with that boy on uh, Cat coming out. Got him, yeah. So I'm like, shit, I'm finna rap on these motherfuckers. So I started rapping about Jordan and shit. And that motherfucker just came out right. 
Yeah, I'm not even from Georgia. You had me in the car like Georgia. Yeah, and I love a little little spelling challenge in there, a little spelling bee in there. I love yeah, that. That was a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was real cute. When you have two totally different songs like that, can you record both of them on the same day? Like, could you do Woo mm-hmm. and Georgia on the same day, or I did. You have to I did. Um, what other song I did that day when I did Georgia? I did shoot it out that day. Did you really? Mm-hmm. Those are two totally different vibes. How do you totally tap into that? Vibe. Just, I set my mind to it. I don't know. And just go. I just go. I did Georgia in like 10 minutes, no cap. Are you serious? Did see it. Change, change wasn't on there at first. I had two verses on there. Mm-hmm. Then I was like, I, I got down. I was like, boy, Chain need to get on that bit. I told goddamn Rollo. I was like, shit, Rollo, but can hit him, motherfucker. He was drunk as hell. He was in that motherfucker like that. <laughs> then it was flip. I was like, yeah, this him. So shit, that thing I know I love. Came back, they split it up. They split the middle, put chains in the middle. They put um the lady who's singing on Kanye West album. Mm-hmm. She singing on that. She the one singing Georgia in like the background mm-hmm. and shit. Yeah, there's some big people on that. Yeah, um, they got engineer. That shit was just something crazy. That's I didn't think funny. I can do no shit like that. Well, I know I can do shit like that, but I didn't just think now, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So early on in your career. So early. Then, just, I, yeah. then I opened up for the new Peach Street jerseys with it on Street live television. With the you Hawks. Feel me? With the Hawks. So I'm like, damn, this motherfucker history now. Mm-hmm. Cause I just brought out the Atlanta team. You feel me? That sets a big bar pretty it early. Set a big bar early. How did that feel, being out there doing that? It felt, that shit felt just like the song. Surreal, right? It felt surreal. That's wild. I love hearing stories like that because not only is the song like a feel good song, but that moment is like yeah. a feel good moment. So you're like in tune with your emotions, but you can also memorize all that shit because you don't write anything down, right? Mm. Where'd you master that? Shit, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, it's like, I don't know, but the new generation crazy, but like the new generation, the new generation, like it's something so different, but we just ain't, we just ain't showing them for yet. I don't finna show them for like, but this shit crazy. I'm excited to see kind of what you have in store, especially on your new project, like outside of this compilation. Oh, yeah. We got a little bit of taste of it at the top of the year when you released Telling Ya. That, that, was, that music old. It's old. That so music we old. have no idea what you have. Y'all don't got no idea. Y'all don't got no. No four ain't got not a piece of young shit yet. No. They ain't got a piece of me yet. Well, that's like a good kind of scary yes it's real scary yeah it's real scary (laughs) let's talk about telling you for a little bit though because throwing fours yeah i really like that song you have schooly on there as well your label mate Mm -hmm. why was he the perfect feature to have on that song i know that's one of your favorites too right he wasn't even on that at first yeah no yeah and uh, he wasn't even on that first he was like i I made the song then he walked in the studio i didn't even know him like that yet I ain't know like that, bro. We just cool as hell, you feel me? And you know, I grew up listening to bro and shit like that. So I was in that motherfucker making that motherfucker. So he walked in. I was like, boy, delete that last verse, boy. Hey, skate, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I like, delete the last verse, bro, let's do it. He got on that motherfucker. He started singing the shot. I was like, boy, that motherfucker perfect. So we shot the video to it. And it just, it was just perfect. That video, you know, you acting, being able to act and be behind bars in that video and pull from that experience. Mm-hmm. Does that ever make you kind of have flashbacks? Like this isn't a place I ever want to be again, knowing that I have experience. Hell yeah. I mean, it do, but I know it's that's just, you feel me, that's just the video, so shit, mm-hmm. yeah. It's crazy because you're versatile. Yeah. It's, it's, it's coming, the, what I was telling you earlier is coming. Yeah. You're, <laughs> you're versatile, <laughs> right? It. So what I what I feel like because you have like the fun songs like woo you have um the feel good stuff like georgia and then you have like the pain um like with throwing fours you're like you're versatile but it's like versatile sleep versatile sleep versatile sleep versatile sleep yeah so it's not versatility <laughs> it's versatile sleep oh that hard yeah oh you switched Thank it you. up that hard <laughs> she hanging on the sleep game <laughs> Talk to me about First those different. <laughs> yeah, that might that, that might be my tight now. You just snapped it in first until the sleep. I don't know. I gotta see. I had a little rope. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tighten it okay. Yeah, we could. I mean, we could play around with some fonts. We could. Yeah. yeah I like it. When you have those different kind of like states of mind, 
when you're creating the different music, how do you tap into those different emotions? Because you can't really take. You know like, what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I might be goddamn. I might be goddamn. I might be happy as hell and still can make a sad song. You feel mm-hmm. me? It's just. I just set my mind to that shit. And just go. And just do it. It don't even be like that. It like. I don't even set my mind to to the song, bro. I just do it. Like. Mm-hmm. None of that shit be wrote. All uh, that shit be, it be like the verses done down there probably like, the verses get done in like three minutes. No cap. I take my time on the hook and taking my time is like 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So all uh, that shit, pull up the net beat. Then at the end of, we go back and listen to it. That motherfucker might have like meaning in it. You feel me? All that shit. So I'm like, damn, that motherfucker just came out hard. But I ain't meaning to come out like that. It just, my, it just how my mind works. It like, I'm like slick. I say I'm. I say I overthink everything. So so when I overthink everything, it make me feel like goddamn like it ain't right. So I be like, boom, I'm done with that song. Go to the next song. But I'm really I'm really over smart. So them shit's really coming out hard, having meaning to it. You feel me? And that that shit be coming up. You know, I don't never set my mind to nothing. Have you always been an overthinker? Yeah, hey, yeah. But I, I just started overthinking shit like like bad now. Why do you think it's gotten worse with time? Cause I've been seeing more. I've been seeing more of the world. That, but some people say that's like a blessing. So do you think it's like a blessing and a curse? It is. It's a, it's a it's a curse to the fact where I overthink everything. I overthink everything, like everything. Give me some you know, examples. Real, like, What's everything? I'm gonna say the bad and the good. <laughs> you can't stare at me too long. Without, without, like, not, not, not like <laughs> me and you, but like mm-hmm. a random person, like, what the fuck the nigga looking at? You feel me? Then it might, it might, you not know, feel me? Like, I overthink that shit, and this nigga might be a fan. More often to give an example, I'm at a show, right? Mm-hmm. I'm at a show. I'm at a show. I'm goddamn, I'm goddamn rapping on stage. So, boom, I start that motherfucker. I say, I say, I say, I want to show you what we doing. To, so they can play the another song, so they can play the next song, right? So goddamn, it's a nigga right here. So you he like, shit, you ain't doing it right. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, you might know me, boy. I start the whole show like, I'm finna beat the nigga ass type shit. I'm like, bro, you might know me or something. Home talking to the DJ though, he thinking the DJ uh... fucking my shit up. So I'm, I slit like, start rapping all that type of shit. I'm like, man, fuck this shit. So when you walk out that motherfucker, I think about that shit. I'm like, bro, who the fuck would that nigga talk to on at, at the bottom of the stage? And I bro, who talk to DJ? I was like, boy, I just blow it on that nigga, boy. And walked out. I'm in the car like the whole time. Like, damn. I get home, I text the um, the nigga who booked me and all. Mm-hmm. I'm like, shit, bro, my bad. Whoop, whoop. That why that's why that's the bad about the shit, you feel me? But I don't shit. I'm gonna tell you my honestly. I don't think that that's bad and that overthinking is bad because I think that that overthinking in some instances in your past and maybe even in in your future has and will save your life. Exactly. That why why it's bad and good. You feel me? Ain't no telling any good. Exactly. People are literally like insane. You see trolls on the internet, they say whatever. So what would stop someone from in person from doing the same thing or disrespecting you the same way or trying you the same way. Exactly. So that's it's all about how you care yourself though, you feel me? I don't I don't care myself like I don't care myself like I'm a threat, you feel me? Mm-hmm. I, I care myself like I'm me. Mm-hmm. And you know what I come with, so shit, if you take it that shit, that just what you feel me? But I'm but I'm cool as hell, like like even even with even with the folk that I don't broke bad with, you feel me, like that that we that we ain't that we ain't got them seeing eye to eye. It don't been some shit in the past. Like I still don't. I still want to send no blitz your way. Type shit. Like we both. We both doing this to get to get here. You feel me? You 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 mind your business. I mind my business. Mm-hmm. Type shit. I don't be wishing bad on nobody. Type shit. But if you take it out, then I'm gonna take it full effect. You feel me? It's just like that. It, it's all bad and good. Come with that shit. Oh, thing. All these steps gotta be calculated. Definitely, definitely. But I love how you say you don't ever wish, regardless of how things may go, you don't ever wish bad. I don't wish bad on nobody. Yeah, you can't, cause like the karma that can come back around. Exactly. That's what I think about, and it's gonna, and and it's gonna be karma. 
It's gonna be karma. Everything has retaliation. It's, it's always gonna be karma, and karma it can be caused. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you never can control anybody's you reaction. You never can control. Uh, you can kind of yell at somebody, and their reaction to you could be to push you, and you'd be like, "Wait, that doesn't even out." But you yeah. can't control someone else's reaction. You can't. That's that subject matter, along with you know the PTSD that you've been really vocal about. Mm. Um, is that going to be something that we hear on the new project? Yeah, more definitely. What about survivor's remorse? Do you think you have that? Any of that? Yeah, on the sleep. Yeah. Talk to me about that. I just, I feel like I'm one of, one of the ones that made it out that wasn't supposed to, you feel me? I ain't gonna say wasn't supposed to, but I, I was supposed to because, cause like, just like I was just telling you the energy I was giving off. Mm -hmm. you, I ain't had no choice but to get here because the good I was doing, you feel me? And I mean, obviously, you're a star. Exactly. Like, no bullshit. When I when I tell you, I be I be thinking like I'm over smart like I really be thinking that shit because the day my opponent died I told him he was gonna die. Is that something you kind of like saw That's, in like a, yeah, a dream or like you just had a feeling? No, I just knew. I just knew because the shit he was doing like and, and the shit he was doing, bro. I just knew. So do you ever feel like guilt because of that because you you knew that or no nah. no. Hell no. Nah. nah, hell nah, it's just like it's a time it's a time for everything, bro. You feel me like? And even though even though I come from that, I still trying to goddamn pull my niggas up out of that type shit. Mm -hmm. You feel me like? I get I got a spot. I have goddamn ten pounders in that motherfucker. You feel me? But don't think cause we the same age and goddamn whoop the whoop. Or you older than me, you feel me like I'm goddamn all this shit calculated, bro. You gotta calculate this shit. You gotta listen, bro. You tight shit. And if you don't listen, shit. Rappers like um, Meek Mill, like they talk about, you know, having kind of their crew around and everybody has to be able to do a job. Everybody has to be able to make money if something were to happen to you or the contract or whatever. Is that something that you kind of keep, you know, in mind when it comes yeah, yeah. to- all this shit calculated. Having people around you? Yeah. You gotta have the right one, right? If I if I can't got uh, all this shit we talking about, if I can't, if you can't listen, ain't no point in being around, cause you gonna have to keep the empire going. Yeah. It's a lot of smart nigga around me though, so I ain't worried about none of that. Do you kind of nurture their talent? Like if you see hey, ones yeah. like, oh, I want a video for you, or oh, let me run this marketing campaign for you. Like, do you nurture that in them? Mm-hmm. I like that. I sport that shit on on goddamn on goddamn. Uh, a major, a major, like we go to a major goddamn thing. Instead of putting on, instead of putting on the Gua, I might throw on the Lee mm -hmm. She a goddamn, she a brand in Atlanta. She goddamn be putting me in the drip and shit like that. So I, I take that and put that shit on. Had her logo showing on that type shit. It said bringing everybody up with you. Atlanta, you know how Atlanta is. Yeah. It's networking horizontally instead yeah. of networking like you know yeah. upwards because you don't always have to do that. But talk to me more about this new project, your solo project, after everything kind of calms down with No Face, No Case. You're dropping that this month, right? Yup. What are we doing as far as a name? Uh, I'm going to say Script Flip, or I'm going to say... I don't know, bro. We going to throw versatility I, I, sleep in there? That I just want to say, I was just going to say, I was just going to say, I fuck with the name you said, but we got to see how they motherfucking look. But yeah. We're going to throw that in there. Of. Um, what's the sound gonna be like? I really was gonna go with the full last sound. Mm -hmm. I, I wanna stick to one sound. Okay. But I got so many of them, they, they got them, um, when, when we go through picking them, they might grab this from over there, that from over there. But I want one sound, one sound throughout the whole tape type shit. You like, wanna be cohesive and yeah. yeah. So how hard is that, like, with me? That shit time? hard. Do you have creative control over that? Yeah, I can, I can put out anything I want. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's to the point where they know what's better, so they might they might influence me more to put this out than that. Then I might be like, "Fuck you, yeah, you right." But shit, they be right sometimes. Like, I don't like woo. I don't like woo at all. So wait, is that what you meant when you said you almost didn't put woo out? Like you yeah. almost didn't do it. Yeah. I thought you meant for the show that night, like of that video. You meant in general. Man, I hate woo. I tell no. bro when we go anywhere, bro, I be like, bro, do not play woo, bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> bro, do not play no. with me, bro. I swear. I be like, bro, don't play that shit, bro. <laughs> no way, really? Yeah. I love that song. You love it? Yes, it's so fun. And then when you watch everyone having fun to it, and it, like, we all need to have fun. It's so fun. But you hate it, so, mm. regardless. I just, I don't know. You're honest. I don't like that shit. No. <laughs> I like the video. The video hard. Mm -hmm. I don't like this damn song. So every time they had to like play it during the video, were you like, God damn, turn it nah, off? Nah, I liked it then. Mm -hmm. okay. I grew out that shit. Okay. Okay. I grew out. I make a song today and hate that shit next week. And so I grow so goddamn fast with this shit because I be overthinking everything. Is that something you talk to Two Chains about? Hey, yeah, now. What is what is he giving you like advice? Yeah. On that, what is he, what does he say? Uh. Most of the shit that I'm saying really that but he's saying patient. He be telling me patience a lot. I don't really got too much patience. Cause I've been got uh, it's different it's different from from them to, to say patient cause they already there. Mm -hmm. But me trying to get there is like I didn't just start getting here when I I didn't start just trying to get here when I, when y'all assigned me type shit. I've been trying to get here so it's like you gotta think about all that time while I've been trying to get here this time in the time people telling you to wait more mm -hmm. patience like mm -hmm. fuck that so young, now. Though. that don't mean nothing pop smoke was younger than me 20 he gone yeah what but is it, what is patience it takes 10 years to make an overnight success it don't it don't matter when you're gonna start what is patience if you don't if you don't start now you're gonna be still waiting on patience you feel me <laughs> what the fuck am i waiting for that what i tell my opponents shit what the hell are you waiting for what the hell we keep talking about what we finna do with how you feel That's me? true. Yeah. Let's start now. Ain't no more patience. Let's do it. But you gotta be patient on your audience. You gotta That's be patient on the blow up. Cause you can move as fast as how you wanna move, but everybody else isn't gonna move at that pace now. No. 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 We gotta all blow up with you. Hey, we gotta yeah. all like we need to push you now. Yeah. As an audience. Hey yeah, cause if you don't do it now, when you gonna do it? Exactly. Uh, no, no, I, <laughs> exactly. I feel like we have whatever to, whatever day you start doing it, it could have been this exact day. So why you don't start doing it now? Because I feel like when it comes to like a fan and an artist, right? Maybe there's some work from you that we haven't come across yet that yeah. hasn't been able to like spark us. Like, oh my gosh, like sleepy, like. Well, it. I'm putting you down. They want to tell you now. <laughs> I'm it. You hear me? Like, dead serious. Okay, so I'm saying versatility. Play this shit. Like, it better you know, come hard. Versatility sleep better come hard. Oh, so you pushing that. <laughs> see what you got going on. You pushing that. <laughs> yeah. You are a pretty new father as well, right? How's that added to your music? Uh, more push. More push. More need it now. More it is now. More I'm getting it now. See what's going on. I don't be trying to be cocky. Folky thing, I be cocky. But I just be keeping it on. I just be psh, every song I just drop hit the radio. Mm -hmm. You feel me? They all getting me a screen, molding the me a screen. Like I ain't being cocky. I'm just keeping it one hundred. What other what other new artists you know doing that right now? And I ain't even, shit. Who who just put out five songs that all hit the radio? Snoop Dogg reposting me. You feel me? Like all that. And I ain't been rapping number by goddamn eight months, eight, ten months. Science taking it serious. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. I ain't cocking. I'm just popping my shit, keeping it a hundred. I love it. You did? I love it. <laughs> so, your baby has you focused on getting it now. Mm -hmm. What do you think, when you think about, you know, we talked about subject matter, when we talk about PTSD, we talk about survivor's remorse, and we talk about you putting that into your work. When you think about being a dad and, you know, raising up your child, does that kind of add that light into your work, do you feel like? Mm -hmm. Like that can keep it kind of light? Yeah. Yeah. It keep it, it keep it light. Shit, you see life going, life going, start over, keep going, you feel me? And that's a part of my family tree. Mm hmm and I named I name him after my man who died on the block. Love it. So it's like that's that's goddamn. Oh you know, my goddamn phone screen saving now. I got a lot to tell. Hold up. <laughs> Let me clear some of the sheets. Hold up. Why don't the folks see that? Hold now. <laughs> oh 
my gosh. She's Look, he's a there. little man. Yeah, little me. Oh, wait, it, it went out. Oh my gosh, he's so precious. See, he's Look at him. I was gonna say, does he have a chain on? Yeah, he got the, he got the Uds on. Oh my goodness. You know what I'm saying? The real uh, Ralph Lauren. Baby fever. Baby fever. <laughs> For other people's kids time. You can babysit him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you hold it on bottom. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love kids. Sidebar. Oh. <laughs> I love it, I love it. So your new project is coming out this month this month this month um you just kind of getting off the no face no case train mm -hmm. talk to me about two chains actually signing you we were talking a little bit off air before and you know i brought up kind of the thought process of nepotism and almost like two chains connection to you is like a black nepotism mm -hmm. you know being able to pull up someone from his old neighborhood we're typically black people are typically not in those head honchos position to be able to do that how does that make you feel you and hot right yeah me and hot yeah talk to me about like the kind of like the story of your signing and meeting chains and uh so we was on um, 27 you feel me? that's that's the block okay so a lot of folks from my block rep you feel me? they're going crazy a lot of them going crazy and you got we were showing like documentaries and all that. You can actually go on YouTube and type in Welcome to 27 Documentary. Mm -hmm. We got a documentary out there in the hood just like on some regular day shit. You feel me? So two two people who sit on the steps with me in the documentary, they died. So one of the one of one of them his name Richie. Mm -hmm. And his daddy and Chains were friends back then. So so after that, Chain got Chain actually pulled up when 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 it happened. Mm -hmm. So shit, I pull up like on some West Ham, bro. But I won't never pull up on no, on no like music tip or mm -hmm. trying to got down. You feel me? It was just some regular. So bro got down, seen he he seen my video. Pop was posting my videos and all that with my jacket on backwards, walking through the hood and shit like that. Rapping, I was rapping that where you from? Mm -hmm. That I had shot a video, dropped it. He seen that, so he called. He got um. One day we was in three six three. He called me one day. Nah, he ain't called me, he ain't called me, he ain't called me, he ain't called me. <laughs> he ain't called me. Uh, Park, this shit crazy. Park called me, he was like, shit, pack your bag. Whoop, whoop. Like, be at the airport at night. First, I got I FaceTime him. This nigga was lit. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, nigga in LA, he got a goddamn tree behind him and shit. <laughs> like, nigga, what the hell you at? Like, shit, I'm up here with chain, boy. Whoop, whoop. Feel me? Like, Nigga, you trying to come out here? I'm like, hell yeah, nigga. <laughs> I'm like, he capping. Man, bro, I'm telling you, bro. It was so crazy, cause I slid with like, I had my spot, rent was coming up. And we're like, boy, what am I finna do type shit? Man, this nigga called back, like, boy, I be at the airport at nine o'clock. I get to the airport, I see hot. I'm like, boy, where the hell you going? He like, boy, I'm finna go to LA. I'm like, I'm going to LA, boy. Man, we know we going, but do it, man. <laughs> Get, we get down, walk in that movie, throw the weed, throw the weed, scrape, roll it up, this young woo, smoking. Damn, boy. We ain't need people chained, but I'm looking at that nigga, bro. But that nigga had a little fake, boy. <laughs> you feel me? We kicked up. Cause we so, like, we so happy and shit, like, cause we, we know where we just came from. That shit just got down. That story, that shit just got out of where we at now. Do you and Hot kind of like sit back and like yeah, yeah. throw that at each other, that yeah. like that first story again? Do you ever retell it, it to each other? Yeah, 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 every time. But that shit wasn't that long ago. Like, you look at, we can look at goddamn video, that shit don't even say a year ago yet. Mm -hmm. man, that shit probably just not saying a year ago. He didn't even say that yet. We just not like, this shit just not happening, like fresh to this shit. Fresh to this shit, we at where we at now. This shit crazy. She mind blowing. Talk to me about, because I know it's not just music that, you know, 2 Chains gives you advice on. Business. Yeah. Like, real estate. Yeah. Just everything. Like, he uh, has... He ain't even got to give advice. Just look at that man. Mm -hmm. That man got shit everywhere. Now you got to do that. Look at that shit. Like, what the fuck? Then he got shop here, 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 here. What is you doing? You ain't got to ask him what is you doing. You can go read up on this shit. How I get him in. How I get him in. But y'all ask him. Hey, yeah. 
how do you take that advice in especially now because you're not like at a two chain status but you can yeah. still implement some of that stuff now mm-hmm. are you doing that mm-hmm. talk to me about uh china china got them oh at age spring oh yeah that's got them i could talk to you but i can't talk because that's the motherfucker ain't got got them all the way legalized yet okay yeah. okay but yeah that's just a own um, brown star at age supreme the um, weed scram mm-hmm. yeah i started that i actually started that from that way you from something Hmm. Yeah, I said it wrong too. It was really supposed to be ninety three Supreme. Oh, I said like, eighty eight, and it just stuck. <laughs> I said Ryan nothing net blowing eighty eight Supreme. It's supposed to be ninety three Supreme. Eighty eight is like the, the bag. Mid, like yeah, the mid. <laughs> <laughs> I like fuck that shit. Keep that shit. <laughs> yeah, me, cause nigga like smoking on that OG, so I'm feeling hit them folks. So OG that's like the exotic. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Not everybody like smoke OG. All the old school niggas still smoking. I mean, all the old school niggas still smoke OG type shit. Mm-hmm. 88 Supreme, you feel me? 88 Supreme, parentheses, it's really 90, 93 it's Supreme. Really, no, nah, it's not 93. It's not It's, not, it's, it's it, not it, 93. Actually, it actually, you know, they don't even got 88. They got 87. Yeah, that's what I, yeah. But gas station added 88 now. So mm. I, you feel me? They so got, you almost, they you got like 87. The curb. Ahead of it, yeah, I, I like just that. put them folk down. And they just ran out with it, but I'm getting shit back in. Yeah. I right. feel that. I feel that. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with me today. Well, definitely. Got a little exclusive on what the name of your project you might be. You got all the sauce. What I want to <laughs> give them folk, I just gave it to you first. Put this out there. We finna go viral. Y'all folk tune in. Y'all sleep. I'm Shay Rodriguez. Yeah, what we doing? Sleepy Rose. You gonna come back like yeah, after I'm you drop yeah, it? Yeah, I'm come back. I'm gonna come back next month and watch and watch the difference from right now. Maybe we could do something live. Exactly. Watch the. Would difference. you do something live? Hey, like yeah. a live interview, like listen. Live to interview, no cussing. We ain't gotta do no cussing. I'm not put the sauce on. We ain't gotta do no cussing. No, you that. could be 100 percent real. We'll have your fans in here that know you, that they love you, that wanna. Yeah. They do it. They go big. For real. Anything. I, I come cook the pizza. <laughs> I be cooking. Go on my they Instagram. Don't, don't. Go type. Go tune into my Instagram. I be cooking. I just cooked spaghetti last night. It was a little too salty. You put sugar in it? Hell no. Nah. Okay, just checking because it's weird. Weird? Yeah, people put sugar in their spaghetti. I'm tripping. I ain't cooking no spaghetti. I cook nachos. How you make nachos? I made it. Yeah. I put the ground beef. I seasoned the ground. I washed ground beef, seasoned it. Got down. I let that cook first. Mm-hmm. Get what I'm finna put you down. Put another stove with some corn. Okay. Get some beans. Mm-hmm. Wash the beans out, though. Don't got them. Don't get. Just throw them in there, yeah, no. Yeah, don't just throw them in there. Get the beans. So, you're going to boil the beans a little bit to make them cook. Mm-hmm. So, you throw the beans in there with the ground beef. You throw the corn in there. Then you then you put a little more season on it. Mm-hmm. Then you put the goddamn cheese on there. Yeah, you shred cheese or like... I use goddamn... Liquid, I use, like the nah, liquid. I don't use no liquid cheese. I use um the Crafting? cheese that's supposed to go in macaroni. Gotcha, okay. Block oh, cheese. Okay. I cut it straight cheese. down the middle. Put it in there. Let it, let it boil up with it. Mix it up. Mix it up. Then. What you have with your nachos? Beans and rice? All oh, that shit in there. You put rice in your nachos? Nah, hell yeah, oh, nah. Okay. But beans and corn and shit, all that shit in the nacho. And get what? You got to get cut up tomato, cut up goddamn onion, all that type of shit. Put it in there. Sounds colorful. Make it nice. Whole life going to turn you butter <laughs> <on>. <laughs> We about to do a whole sleepy cooking show next. Hey, that's man. that's what I'm feeling. But no, I'm gonna get you live when you drop your project. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna talk to your managers. We're gonna get it together. Well, Dave. You heard the man, y'all. All right. Thanks, Libby. <laughs>